Let's model a water bottle in Blender. Start by adding a reference image. Go to the side view and add any mesh. Go to edit mode, then press M and choose merge at center. Move it down along the Z axis. Extrude the vertices along the reference image. You don't need to be extremely precise. Just make sure to add extra vertices when tracing around the curvature. When you're done, select the curve, go to the modifiers tab, and add a screw modifier. If your bottle cap is open like this, select one of the vertices and move it around to close the hole. Add a subdivision surface modifier, set the viewport levels to 2, and then apply the screw modifier. Go to edit mode and add a supporting edge loop to the edges. Select the bottom vertices, turn on proportional editing, and then move the vertices up a bit. Switch to face mode and select the bottle cap. Make sure you're in wireframe mode, then press Ctrl plus to grow the selection. Separate the cap from the bottle by pressing P and choosing selection. Select the water bottle, then go to the shading workspace. Create a new material. Add a mix shader node. Add a glossy BSDF node. Set the roughness to 0.03. Duplicate the mix shader node and set the factor to 1. Add a transparent BSDF node. You can take a screenshot of the materials. Turn on render mode, uncheck scene world and switch to the cycles render engine. Change the scene world HD, re if you can't see through the water bottle. Select the cap, switch to face mode, select the faces, and subdivide them twice. Select one face, skip the next, and then select the following one. Press Alt plus E and choose extrude along normals, then add an extra edge loop to the cap. You can extrude the top to refine the shape. Apply the subsurface modifier, then go to the side view. Switch to wireframe mode, then select the part of the faces where the label will be. Press Shift plus D to duplicate the faces, then press P and choose Selection to separate them. Select the water bottle and hide it by pressing H. Now, select the label, switch to wireframe mode, and box select one line of edges like this. Right-click and choose Mark Seam. Now when you select one of the faces and press L, it will highlight one path of the label. Go to the Shading tab. Press it to select all of the faces, then click on the slot and create a new slot. Assign it, and after that, create a new material. Add an image texture node and then load the bottle water image. Go to the UV editing tab. Switch back to object mode and press Alt plus H to unhide the water bottle. Select one of the label faces again, go to the side view, then press U and choose project from view. Now align the UVs to match the reference image. Repeat the same process on the other side.
If your label is transparent, switch to object mode, select it, and scale it up a bit. Select the water bottle cover, go to the shading tab, create a new material, and change the color to blue. Reduce the roughness to 0.04. That's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe.